lot of new faces in the state capitol. One of them, a 37-year-old businesswoman who just won her first race for political office. Our Julia Fellow spoke to our future state treasurer about why she is leaving her business to tackle the state's finances. Sarah Godlewski shows us the necklace her husband gave her when she first announced she was running for state treasurer. It's supposed to be the glass ceiling, and so um, he was. that was his gift to me to let's break the glass ceiling. The daughter of two lacrosse teachers says she struggled to punch through that ceiling in the private sector when she started up a company that helps finance small businesses. I couldn't pay for my, my college by myself. Um, and so trying to get a loan for a business on top of that was really challenging. She got her feet wet in politics last spring when she saw an effort to remove the state treasurer's office. Because I'm concerned as somebody who has been in finance their entire career that we might be making a huge mistake. Godlewski traveled across the state to defeat a statewide referendum to eliminate the treasurer's office. Back in April, 62% of voters sided with her to keep it. I mean, this wasn't even close. This was a landslide victory in Wisconsin. Current state treasurer Matt Adamczyk ran on the platform to remove the position altogether. Earlier this year, we spoke to Adamczyk about the office's future. So what do you do right now? Basically, what I the main duty I have is serving on that Board of Commissioners of Public Lands. No, uh, we ha actually have a memo from the Legislative Reference Bureau that identifies 16 responsibilities that the state treasurer should be doing. Some of which Godlewski still is figuring out herself. We've been doing a lot of research and investigating, um, and I've been, I feel like, a full-time Nancy Drew, Julius. I think there's a lot of things we haven't been doing, and that worries me with the financial health of the state. She's not worried about any possible changes during this upcoming extraordinary session. She just moved into Tony Evers temporary offices last week. What's the energy like in there? I, I we're, we're really excited. Godlewski will be sworn in on January 7th. She said after that, she'll look and review and decide whether or not to add the two positions that were previously eliminated from that office. In Madison, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.